Excuse me, fellow youth. Can I ask you where one might... Let me ask you a question first. Can I buy you a drink? Me? This young thing? Sure. Crawling down, I'll carry you home tonight. You're trembling. It's just that I'm afraid this might be one big dream, and I don't want to wake up. So, how did it go? Did you get that intel you were looking for? Damn it! And so, after four dates and a trip to the Cape with his family, I finally got the information I was looking for. His parents made us sleep in separate rooms, but, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, Gutenberg parks his van at Fifth and Wellington every Thursday night. And tonight will be his last. Haley, who are you calling? Ma, I need the room. Why don't you go down to the mall kiosk and get yourself a nice phone case? Ooh, you're so good to me. Come on, Steve, pick up. Up, oh, out of toner again. Ugh. I told Haley we should have gotten a bubble jet printer, but she's like, no, they cost too much. And I'm like, yeah, but the price per page is lower. And she's like, hey, do what you want. And I'm like, no, I don't want to upset you. It's not that important. Yep, that's how that conversation went down. You've gooten away for the last time, Gutenberg. Berg, your pardon. Cat goot your tongue. You're arrested. You're just too goot to be true. I won't take my cuffs off of you. Any of those will be fine. What the hell? Steve, what are you doing here? I, I was just walking home for dinner when somebody jumped me, threw a bag over my head, and shoved me in Jeff's van. Oh, yeah, this is Jeff's van. Wait a minute, what did your kidnapper say? He said his name was Gutenberg, and that you're Guten Colder, and it might be a Goot ID, uh, for you to give up. Oh, using my own child, and worst of all, my son-in-law's van, to make me look like a fool. He's toying with me. Yeah. It's like he's one step ahead of you. That hadn't occurred to me, but you're right. He's probably watching me right now. Oh, almost definitely. You like to watch, Gutenberg? You want a show? Well, how do you like this? Who looks like a fool now? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God I picked up that second time you called. I, I had plenty of time to put the bag over my head and tie up my hands. But how did you hide the equipment? Simple magician's patter. It was all misdirection. Wow, you came so close to getting caught. W were you scared? No, it was a rush. And now Dad has no idea what's going on. Ah, it's Dad! He figured it out! Ugh, Roger. Kevin Ramage. What do you want? You're making chump change selling fake IDs to teenagers. The big money's in passports, green cards, counterfeit currency. Come work for me. We'll make a bundle. Are you nuts? That's too dangerous. I'm not talking to you, sweetheart. I'm talking to the talent. What do you say, Steve? I say you got a lot of nerve trying to come between me and my sister. Whoa, are you okay? I'm fine. I just missed the step backing out. I didn't realize how close I was to the door. Gosh, be careful, okay? Thanks, I will. All right, good. And stay out! 